Okay, so last time we, uh, we, I was doing one of these, um, we were looking at the old frames and cylinders and obviously they were rather damaged and beyond repair. So we've now got some nice new frame plates and new cylinder castings. And these are now, as you can see, they're, they're upside down on our surface table in the works. Um, and quite a lot has been done. The, uh, the cylinder block's been machined and fitted to the to the new frames. So that's got a nice nice new cylinder block there. We've got some uh, some original parts incorporated. This is the motion bracket. Um, these are original pieces, and this sort of frame extension that will come out and support the tank and join the, uh, the outer frames which will run down the side of the loco which uh, again we should be using the original ones of those. Yeah, these, uh, these plates here, either side of these gaps, these are called the horn blocks, they're original parts. The, the axle boxes will they slide up and down in here, uh, pushed by the springs. So they're original parts that have been remachined. Um, same as these, the, the horn stays, they've been remachined to fit the new frames. But they're original parts. Right, in, in the middle here you can see this shaft, which is the first part of the, uh, the valve gear to go in. That's the way shaft, that's uh, an original part that's uh, survived quite well. A uh, bit of remachining on the ends and new bushes and that's that's gone in, ready to have a new lease of life. Yeah, you can see the other side of the horn blocks here, they're, they're bolted to the frames with uh, these new fitted bolts. These have to be very tight because you see, the, the action of the axle boxes within the frames is banging backwards and forwards and uh, any looseness on these will soon be exaggerated and result in a lot of wear and damage. Okay, right, at the back end here you can see the frames just stop, um, which being a, an unusual England engine, um, from this point on the, 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 the firebox of the boiler takes over the duties of the frame and there'll be some angle brackets to bolt on here that will then bolt to the front of the firebox which uh, transmits the load to the, from the front of the engine to the back of the engine off towards where you are. Obviously, as I said before, it's upside down at the moment. That's because it's basically just because it's easier to work on with it upside down because you've got a, a flat surface along the top of the frames on which the, it can all sit on the table rather than uh, having projecting downward bits which will be very hard to, for it to sit flat and level so we can measure. Okay so you can you can see here the, the front end and you can see that the frame plates are projecting out from the top of the cylinders these these are carried through um, you can see uh, we've got a new steam chest cover that's what this plate is here seals the front of the cylinder block uh, and you can see some Little valve guide, um, little valve guides that um, the valve spindles inside will run in. These are original parts that have been remachined. So here we've got the engine's uh, wheel sets. Um, since the last uh, video, we've had the uh, we've had the axles ultrasonically tested. Um, which is where a uh, specialist operator comes in and basically puts a probe on the end of, end of the axle here and an ultrasonic wave is sent to the other end, bounces back, any defects you can hopefully see in there um, and he didn't find any problems so that's good news so the, these axles will be okay to go again. Um, we've also done a lot of surface crack testing um, with magnetic particle uh, testing which again we haven't found any nasty cracks or problems so these wheel sets um, will basically be good to go with when they've been reprofiled 
Um, these things here on the driving axle, these are called the eccentrics. They drive the valve gear. Um, so obviously, as the loco's going along, these things are rolling round all the time, moving the valve gear to drive the valves open and shut. Uh, when these wear, they become rattly and loose. But actually, these are not too bad at all. Um, so, with a little bit of work, a slight fettle up, they should be good to go again. Obviously, um, Watch Pony didn't have a tender um, available, so we've uh, we've started creating one from scratch. Um, I've done a lot of drawing work, uh, studying of photographs of the different England engine tenders, and come up with a set of drawings to build a complete new tender. Um, to start that off, we've got some new steel wheel castings here from a not an original pattern but a pattern copy of an original um, so that's the first wheel set being machined up there ready for the new tender okay so here we've got the uh, the start of the chassis for the new tender for Welsh Pony we draw up all the bits in uh, on CAD and um, a lot of the components we can have laser cut by our suppliers Richard Sheet Metal. Um, they do a lot of work for us and they've cut out several of these parts which have then been welded together. Right, so these are the, um, some of the kit of parts for building the tender for Welsh Pony. We've got, um, you can see the, uh, the curved pieces here. They form the flare at the top of the edge of the tender. Um, and then these are the tender sides. You can see the, uh, the holes are ready cut. And that's how they come from the supplier. Um, and we're going, to, uh, we're going to rivet this tender together uh, as the original would have been. So it will, although it's all modern construction, uh, it will look pretty much as the original did, or one of the original tenders that was used behind Welsh Pony. So we've got some of the uh, boiler components here. You can see we've got the, uh, the new barrel um, and a big pile on the pile of plates in the middle there. They're profile cut flat plates. They were all made uh, by Deepdale Engineering in the West Midlands for us to our, our new drawings. Um, you can see the, uh, the formed back head here, which is one of the most complicated bits of the boiler uh, in terms of a, a piece of plate um, that was made for us by Israel Newton and Sons Limited um, and here we've got some more parts for the tender uh, ready to ready to go onto that chassis over there this is another crucial component for the boiler this is called the throat plate um, again it was made for us by Israel Newton and Sons in the Peak District. Um, this forms the junction, the lower junction between the front of the firebox and the boiler barrel. So the the barrel will be attached here, and the the sides of the firebox will come down will come down here. So you can see it's quite a complicated shape, and this is uh, made by Newtons by forming, heating and forming and heating and forming so it's quite a uh, difficult process not something we do here um, but uh, Newtons are very good suppliers in that respect okay so the uh, the original loco and the original tender that Welsh Pony had would have had a, a buffer and a link coupling a, a bit like this one underneath it we've um, found a buffer uh, from a, a pile at Minforth so it could be an original Welsh Pony one or it could be off something else we're not really sure but anyway it's an original part that we can reuse on the tender um, although the new tender has been designed so that we can change from original buffer and link arrangement to a modern chopper coupling arrangement uh, depending on what we want the loco to do Okay, so here we've got some more components for the loco. Uh, you can see we've got some new piston rods have been fitted to the cross heads. 
our new piston heads. They're ready to, well, the pistons need the grooves in for the piston rings, but otherwise they'll be uh, ready to go. Uh, also, you can see some of the valve rods there. They've been cleaned up and uh, crack tested, look pretty good. So they probably need some new bushes, but otherwise they'll be able to go. Um, also, you can see the loco driving springs there. Um, they've been cleaned up. Uh, they look like they need one or two new leaves or weld repairing of the leaves, but otherwise they appear to be in okay condition. So they should go again.